Consumers today seeking to improve their TV viewing experience typically acquire a larger TV. The Illumaroom project, combining TV with projected images, suggests that we change the way we think about our viewing experiences altogether. Illumaroom is a research project. We were really fascinated with the idea of taking the TV content, which is such a rich medium, you get a lot of both the games and the movies and everything like that that you can experience there. How do you actually extend that to fill your room? You can bring a video game or a film outside of your normal boxed-in television screen and out into your living room. If you have like a grenade that you know is rolling inside of the TV screen, it can actually roll out of the TV screen, bounce off of your floor, and roll under your coffee table. So it's really about creating immersive augmented reality experiences and kind of re-envisioning what uh, the future of video games and cinema could look like five years from now. We specifically did not want to change the content on the TV. That is what, you know, what people envision, what the director envisioned initially. But when we started playing around with what can you do in the periphery, how can you play with your furniture, how can you play with your lights, how can you play with uh, you know, the content that comes out of it. You're shooting bullets and now all of a sudden bullets fall out of the TV and then roll down on your carpet. We needed a name for that, so we call those peripheral projected illusions. Using radiometric compensation, the Illuma Room system can intelligently cancel out the existing room environment. This results in a 3D corrected projection onto your furniture and walls as if it was a large screen. Illuma Room can also embrace the existing environment, using special lighting effects and reprojections to modify how furniture and other objects in the room look. This gives you also the ability to start hallucinating some motions, to, to start making the users believe that they're moving things when they really aren't, so something like this. Which is basically just a warp of the reprojection that happens in the scene, but uh, because you're focused on the game and you know, you're trying to shoot your enemies and things like that, all this, all this distortion in the, in the periphery ends up making you feel like your room is actually vibrating. With these peripheral projected illusions, we tried to kind of explore this spectrum of, you know, virtual experiences, physical experiences, and then kind of everything in between. So the Illuminum hardware is actually quite simple overall. We specifically designed it so that it's just using off-the-shelf hardware. We have an off-the-shelf simple projector and an old Kinect unit. The main need for the Kinect right now is to calibrate the projector and with respect to the room and also with respect to the TV. So during our calibration stage, we actually find where is the TV in the room. We take a snapshot of, of the furniture and we use that both the color and the geometry to correct the projections so that they look right to the user. The sweet spot is actually generally big, very much like watching the movies in a movie theater. If you come a little bit late and you don't get the prime seat, you still understand what's going on perfectly well. You don't necessarily um, complain too much about n not having the perfect seat, but there's definitely a sweet spot in the theater, and so def there's definitely a sweet spot here. The hardware itself is purposely off the shelf. All the special sauce was in the software. We built kind of a custom game engine uh, on DirectX where you could have these immersive experiences using 3D rendering technology. The purpose of a Luma Room is not to replace the living room TV. Instead, the purpose is to augment the experience of watching TV or playing video games with capabilities the TV will never be able to offer alone. So what happens when the game isn't just focused on you know, the TV experience, but really you know, the entire physical space becomes the, the playground for a video game? Think about having a room where all the lights are literally just projectors and now you can throw lights there, but you can also play a game in there. And if you want to have a complete theme, like, you know, have a river running through your room, well, all of a sudden your couch and your furniture can be rocks and look like rocks, but then the river water effects go down on your floor. Looking at how you could use this technology to make completely different game experiences, where you're not sitting on a couch with a controller. There's an opportunity also to start looking at all sorts of, you know, scene understanding and give, expose that uh, dynamically to the game so that you might know, oh, this person has a, a window and this person has a you know, white carpet or something like that. That might be interesting information that the game can actually really play against. There's a whole slew of projection mapping artists that are designing custom experiences on stage, on theater, in, you know, in churches. And, and like, there's a whole industry behind that that actually create custom content, custom experience for a custom performer, or for a custom event, for a custom venue. You take that kind of approach, but you bring that for everybody to, to bring it to your living room.
Find out more in the Research Highlights article titled Illuma Room, Immersive Experiences Beyond the TV Screen, in the June 2015 Communications of the ACM.